Another theory with Xana. Cool. cool. It's two o'clock in the freaking morning. Gotta be quiet about this. Hi, welcome to another theory with Zena. Today, I just want to say I was all over the Junie B. Joan books when I was a kid. My Mimi got them for me. It was. They were amazing. Loved them with all my heart. Now, something you probably don't know about me is that. Big reveal. Yes, I am autistic. God, wish it wasn't two in the morning so I could show you the paperwork to prove it. I know some people fake their disorders for clout. This is not fake. Okay, I was very insecure about this since kindergarten. The fact that I'm even telling you this, it must be something very important. And it is. The matchup between my experiences and Junie B. Jones' experiences match up scarily good. Seriously, which is why today, my theory is that Junie B. Jones is autistic. Let's look at the facts. Anytime somebody rolls their eyes, Junie B. Jones will look up. Staring kindergarten thing, right? Except here's the thing, nobody in my kindergarten classes ever did that. Except two people, Lucas, another kid who also had autism, and your girl. Yep, I did that too. Not because Junie B. Jones did it, but because I genuinely didn't know why people were doing this. The autism experience. Junie B. Jones doesn't understand sarcasm. I didn't understand sarcasm. Until, like, what, fourth grade, when I made a pun for the first time? Actually, that's kind of the reason I love puns, because when I made that pun, my mom was so proud of me. That's why I love them. Lastly, Junie B. Jones has so much co trouble concentrating. This is a problem with... A lot of autistics. This is a problem with me. And it's undiagnosed for Jimmy B. Jones. So that means she's not getting the medication she needs. So that unfocus is going to carry with her throughout the years. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. And also good night because it's only at 2 a.m.